I want to talk about two of my favorite investment blazers. They're both by Veronica Beard. This is the Scuba Dicky Blazer and this is the Miller Dicky Blazer. So what Dicky Blazer means is that you can zip in and zip out different Dickies. And in this case, it's a sweater Dicky. Over the years, I've collected a bunch of them. Here's a cashmere one. It's a hoodie. I have a leather dicky. I have a sweatshirt dicky. I have a puffer hoodie in leopard print. I have a denim one. I have other knit ones. I've collected a lot of dickies. So essentially, the dicky enables you to change the look of the blazer so that it looks more layered, more stylish, more intentional. You create a stylish layered look, but without adding the bulk or the heat, which is particularly awesome if you happen to be perimenopausal or menopausal and struggling with hot flashes or run hot naturally. So it adds that layered look, but without adding the heat or the bulk. So you may be wondering, what is the difference between the two and how do I decide? My first purchase was the Scuba Blazer and I got this one first because it was the most basic and I thought versatile. So the Scuba Blazer has some zippers on the front on either side in black. So I feel like that maximizes your versatility. If it were silver or gold, then it would be more of a feature. It wouldn't blend in as well. The other really great thing about the scuba blazer, it's like neoprene. So you can crumble it up. It's not going to wrinkle. It's going to travel really well. Neoprene gives it some shape. It has some good structure fitted to the body, but structure. And then this one's a little longer than let's say the Miller blazer, which is more cropped. So taller, or you just wanna be slightly more current to what's happening on the fashion scene right now. Bigger, oversized, longer line blazers are definitely in. Now with a longer line blazer, if you're petite, I would recommend leaving it open so then you still are highlighting your waist. If you wanna close it, just maybe focus on wearing an elongating pair of jeans and also an elongating pair of similar color tones shoes or booties with more of an almond or a pointed toe to keep the line long. But you can see when you leave it open, then you have more length with the legs versus closed. It's gonna shorten the legs and not create as long of a line. Let me show you how to put the dicky into the jacket. Okay, so this is a cashmere hoodie dicky. So the first thing you do is at the top, you button. After you button, then you can zip in your dicky. I think it's great that you have the option of wearing it with a dicky or without the dicky. So if you just want your traditional, classic, tailored, beautiful black blazer, you have that option, or you can you know, mix and match these dickies to create completely different looks. Okay, now let's talk about the Miller blazer. So the Miller dicky blazer is a shorter length. It's also tailored. It is a different fabric. It is also very wrinkle resistant, but it's a little thicker than the scuba blazer. So that's a consideration with travel and also depending on you know if you run high and what temperature you are. Miller blazer also has the gold buttons, which really adds adds pop, polish, gives it more of a nautical feel. It feels very elegant, sophisticated, luxurious. But then when you have bold gold hardware like that, it's just slightly less versatile than let's say the scuba blazer. The fit on the Miller is also different. Again, it's shorter. So again, I don't know how long your torso is or how tall you are, how petite you are. This could be a better option if you're super petite. Okay, so the Miller blazer falls to about the hip line. You can see it's quite a bit shorter, you know, maybe a couple inches than the scuba. Same idea, I'd wear it open if you wanna highlight the waist. This one, because it's a little shorter, I think it's okay to also wear buttons. It does have a three-quarter sleeve, which is nice, because then that three-quarter sleeve draws the eye to this part, which is your waistline, almost your waist. And it's tailored, so it's creating shape. This one has a sweater dicky. I wear this blazer a lot with this particular dicky, but you can see it looks very elegant and chic without it as well. I think the sweater dicky in particular, it just adds some interest and it makes it feel more casual. So again, if you're just out and about running errands, um, you may wanna add the dicky just to give it a more casual feel. So which one do you prefer? Do you like the Miller or do you like the Scuba? Don't forget that there's no shame in getting yourself a holiday gift this season. <laughs> there's a hilarious SNL skit where it's all about how mom gets the shaft and she only gets the robe. So you take matters into your own hands. 
months, you get your own really special holiday gift that really lights you up and you don't worry or depend on the kids and your husband to do that for you. At least that's my philosophy. You also can send the link to your husband. That works as well. What questions do you have? Let us know. Happy holidays, everyone.